Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, indeed. So the hit Netflix series Arcane ended last night. It was fantastic. I loved season two. I loved season one. I mean, look, I'm just going to be talking about the series as a whole because I'm so sad that it's ending. And it truly is, in my eyes, a masterpiece. Now, listen, I already know there's going to be people like typing in glazing in the comments and Please go right ahead. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm glazing for the show because they, it, it is that great and I love it so much. And I also just want to say real quick, I know the word masterpiece gets thrown around a lot today because it does. I've seen it come up on the internet plenty of times, but here's the thing. I don't think receiving a masterpiece of a, of a TV show, a movie, maybe like a certain performance from someone in sports, I don't think it's as rare as it used to be. The fact of the matter is we have so many talented and incredible people working in this industry creating some phenomenal stuff. I mean, so many great movies and shows over the last couple of years. And listen, if I enjoy something enough, if I think it checks enough boxes to where the flaws are just minute, then yeah, for me, it's a masterpiece. And that's what Arcane is. Anyways, I'm not going to be talking about too many spoilery stuff. I might talk about some plot points here and there. But I just want to talk about the show as a whole and why I think it is so phenomenal. And why I believe it deserves to be in the GOAT conversation. And to clarify, I'm not just talking about the GOAT in terms of animated shows. I'm talking about one of the GOATs in television, period. Again, like I said earlier, season 2, I think, stuck the landing. It was fantastic. Every episode was excellent in so many different ways. Like the animation. Yeah, that's the easiest one to really just gush over because the animation in this show is truly something to behold. And look, this shouldn't be surprising to really anybody. When that report came out that Arcane, both seasons of Arcane, uh, ended up being the most expensive animated TV show of all time, you really shouldn't be surprised that it looks this good. I mean, just talking about it isn't enough. You truly have to see it for yourself to know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, you have the main style that, that you know, about like maybe 70, 80% of the show is. It looks great. It looks awesome. It's got CG. It's kind of got this, this weird, like sort of a, a not Spider-Verse-esque sort of look, but it just has a really unique look. I'll say that. But then you get the rest. You get all of these different sequences with different animation styles. You get like this watercolor animation, sort of like this airbrush looking sort of style. You get some hand-drawn moments in there as well. And every single style looks impeccable. It's kind of like the Spider-Verse series where you can just take one frame from either of those movies and it just looks gorgeous that's arcane so yeah not surprising to literally anybody the animation is something unbelievable it's some of the best animated stuff that you will ever see period but i have to talk about the characters i have to talk about the writing i mean it is just next level storytelling here in just two seasons where episodes range somewhere around like 40 to 50 minutes each you get so much characterization with a lot of these characters not just the main cast but you get some of the smaller characters too you understand some backstory you understand where they're coming from there's enough time and attention put into all of these characters to where you genuinely care about almost all of them and the themes of this show what these characters go through Sadness, depression, anxiety, betrayal, love, loss. I mean, it's all here. It's all here in these two seasons. It is so rare for a television show to balance so many different themes and emotions all into one package and yet have the execution be so fantastic. And just in case anyone needed to hear this, this show is not for kids. Let's just say that there's a lot of adult stuff that happens in this show. There's a lot of, you know, things about war, violence, death, and of course, other things. And how this show uses music in some of these episodes is genuinely amazing. There are some sequences where, like, maybe there's a big action sequence going on, and the music fits perfectly with what you're seeing with the animation going on. And then there are certain moments with, like, some montages where the music fits beautifully. Whoever had to pick the soundtrack for all the music and songs that were in these episodes, kudos to you. You picked some perfect songs. As a whole, I would say that the backbone of Arcane, the show, is really between the relationship of Vi and and Jinx, aka Powder. They're sisters that grew apart, you see in season one why, and then they kind of reconcile a little bit here in season two. Now, how they reconcile is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful moment. A couple of beautiful moments as far as I'm concerned. And my God, some of the questions that this show brings up about morality and your place in the world and, and, and the, the choices that we have and how we can shape our lives, how it's presented with the arcane itself, the arcane being like this mystical 
thing that I don't even fully understand what the arcane is, to be honest with you. But the glimpses that we get, especially with Victor and Jace and how they kind of work off of each other, it just brings so many amazing questions that really makes you think and ponder a little bit. When you have something that is so visually dazzling and so visually gripping while having a, a, a writing team and story that's equally just as gripping, of course you're going to have one of the greatest things ever. Now, look, getting into the GOAT conversation, for me personally, as far as animated shows go, there has been one show that I have considered to be the GOAT, and that is Avatar The Last Airbender. Universally loved, universally recognized as literally one of the greatest animated shows ever created, Avatar has stood the test of time and has only gotten better as time has gone on. Now, sure, I have some personal favorites that are close to Avatar, like BoJack Horseman, but there's never really been a show where I could look at and say, yup. That's up there. That is right there. That might be that might be on top of it. That might be right there. I don't know. And that's Arcane. Arcane is there for me now. I know I haven't really gotten into any specifics about the season itself, but it's because I don't really want to spoil anything here. I want you to see, I want you have to see it for yourself and experience it as as blindly as possible because i think then that's what you're going to get the most out of it i hope that this show gets a physical release of some kind whether it's 4k dvd blu-ray whatever it is i hope that it has a physical release so i can buy it and, and hold on to it forever i love this show as much as i love something like like dragon ball dragon ball z the dragon ball franchise like in that franchise is very near and dear to my heart arcane is just special man it was a special show i'm sad that it's ended but man i love every single episode please let me know what you thought about the show in the comments below and until next time peace